How's it going everyone? JKXVX here. We're back on Forza Horizon 4 once again for another update video. Update 37 or Series 37 has just been announced for Forza Horizon 4. We know everything about it, the cars, the features, blah 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 blah. So I'm going to tell you everything about the update in this video. As always guys, if you don't know, before an update releases, so last week, we got given clues as to what's going to be in the update through an image like this from Playground Games themselves. So if you want to know about updates early, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I always do videos on the clues that we get given and, well, and I suppose you'll see in this video if we were right this month or not about what's going to be in the update. But yeah, we're going to start with the festival playlist which has the new cars and everything like that and then we're going to focus on the, the features after that. Now in the festival playlist for the whole series, for 50% completion you can get yourself a backstage pass and for 80% completion a Chevy Camaro from 1990. Now the first week, which is summer, for 50% completion you can get the Honda S800 and for 80% completion the Ferrari 250S, uh, sorry, LM. And then through an exclusive championship you can get the first new car of this month, sorry, the only new car of this month, the 2017 Vull 05 R. Yes, this is the only new car of this month. Now the 2017 Vull 05 RR is a more track, fo track focused version than the Vull 05. It's got about 400 horsepower so it's sort of fast, it doesn't weigh much. Um, it's been in Forza before, in Forza Motorsport 7 in the Top Gear car pack I believe. So it's not new to Forza but it's new to Forza Horizon 4 which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, as I said, that is the only new car of this month, but I'm going to quickly go through the festival playlist anyway. In autumn, 50% you can get a backstage pass, 80% you can get the McLaren Speedtail from 2019. Winter, 50% you can get the Land Rover Villar and 80% the Jeep Gladiator. And then in spring, for 50% completion, you can get the backstage pass and then for 80% completion, the Ferrari 250 TR. Only one new car this month, a Mexican sport slash supercar um, we can't really complain we know that playground games are working on Forza Horizon 5 in the background so we can't complain about there not being many new free cars really but yeah that's the festival playlist and that's the new cars let's get on to the new features now the long awaited Super 7 high stakes feature is finally being added to the game I'm gonna let Mike from playground games sort of explain what this feature is and how it works there's no pop-up oh, one it's real. Here. Well. it exists it is real <laughs> Um, so High Stakes is a, a very special flavor of uh, Super 7 where it takes much more challenging uh, activities than, than the regular Super 7 and it has a, a few extra little kickers thrown in as well. So you'll now get a different reward for each, uh, each, cham each challenge that you complete and uh, when you complete a challenge you'll be given the option to either bank and take all the rewards you've got in your pool up to that point or twist and carry on playing to try and earn more. Uh, you have a limited number of lives to complete each challenge. If you fail to complete it within those three lives, you're out and you lose all of your uh, all of the prizes you had up to that point. You also have a couple of burns as well. So if one of the challenges is a little bit too hard for you, you can you can use a burn and that will get you a fresh challenge. But you can only do that only do that a couple of times. So yes, as you heard, you get given Super Seven challenges at random, and you have to complete them within three goes. And if you don't, you lose all of the prizes that you've previously banked up. If a challenge is too hard, you can sort of skip it and get another one, um, but you can't do that for very long. So it's quite interesting to see what kind of rewards you can get banked up, because the more you manage to do without failing, without banking, the better rewards you get. So if you do seven without failing more than three times, you're obviously going to get some really good rewards. Now, the Super 7 high stakes rewards can contain the following. You can get credits, wheel spins, cars, such as the Fry 59XX, for example, and other ones in that sort of league. Uh, clothing like Quack Wellies, horns like the Windows XP horn, and all really good stuff like that. So the rewards aren't really rubbish, which is good to see. Reminder, to get all of these good rewards, you obviously have to win these Super 7 challenges in a row without failing them more than three times. Um, you have three lives per per challenge, not um, three lives overall, so that's good. And, and you can only skip three times overall, not three times per challenge. The challenges are chosen by the system. Um, it sort of calculates which ones it thinks you'll be able to do with a bit of a challenge based on the likes and the wins that it's had. So it works it out quite smartly or intelligently, I would say. 
um, yeah, Super 7 Higher States is going to be quite a fun and tense game mode. Now, along with all of that, there are no new cars or features, but we do have information about future Forza Horizon 4 updates. What's going to happen? Well, let me try and get into that now. With the announcement and the soon release of Forza Horizon 5 this year, um, Playground Games are obviously going to be focusing more on Forza Horizon 5. Now this means that there are apparently not going to be any new cars or features within the next few months on Forza Horizon 4. Starting next month for update 38 or series 38 for Forza Horizon 4, we are going to start to see a return of old content and old features and old cars from series 7, from update 7 to update 32. So everything that came out between 7 and 32, we're going to start to see that a sort of a mixtape of the features and the cars and the content added back then from next month. You know, to bring you back, because those updates were years ago now. So while they're focusing on Horizon 5, they're not going to have much new stuff. We're going to have a bit of a mixtape and bring back some old classic stuff. Maybe some stuff that you've not experienced yet and some cars you've not got yet either. Now this doesn't mean that Forza Horizon 4 is coming to an end, even after Forza Horizon 5 is released in November, they are still going to keep updating Forza Horizon 4 to keep it a fun experience. They haven't given us any exact plans just yet, but it's still going to be updated, there's still going to be stuff going on, but as for new stuff, we're not sure yet, at least in the next few months we're not getting anything new, that's for sure. I'm going to leave the bit on screen of where Tommy actually spoke about this himself, just so you can hear it from him. That's right. So with Forza Horizon 5's release being our priority over the next few months, uh, we've made some changes to the way Forza Horizon 4's monthly uh, series updates. So st starting with series update 38, so that's the next next one on 37, players who know the game well will start to see the return of content uh, from series 7 to 32. Um, think of it a bit, uh, a bit like a mixtape uh, featuring the return of some of your favourite content um, combined with recently added new features. So you know, maybe it'll spur on some old memories you have of some great seasonal events and some great puns, more importantly. I hope uh, so. <laughs> uh, although we aren't planning to add all new cars and features over the, uh, these next months, um, you should have a lot of fun revisiting these moments and seeing how you handle them the second time around. Um, so yeah, it's basically what I said. You should be able to get the idea of it from there. But yeah, that is everything we need to know about series 20, sorry, series 37. I cannot believe it's been 37. This update comes out this week with the start of the new cars in summer or the new car, I should say. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you enjoy this video, because I update you on everything Forza related with cars, features, updates, everything you need to know. Leave a like if you enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza 4 and 5 content. I'll see you all later.